I'd probably have to say um, at least two of the challenges I mean, that I experienced as, as a chaplain, um, as a campus chaplain um, at Mount St. Mary's is uh, you always have the challenge of um, a distracted living. Distracted living. Um, a, a lot of, if, if our young people have never learned uh, to be able to live in the present, we would say practice the presence of God, to know He's present everywhere, and to uh, be able to give your full attention to people. It's like, unless you can do that, how can you ever grow a, deeper in a friendship, in a relationships? How can you ever like look deeper within if you're just kind of flitting here and there? And so, uh, depending on the person's background, and like, unless you get that kind of human and spiritual training, I think in high school, if you have, a, to the extent that there are bad habits there, you only uh, have a tendency to multiply until you learn it. So it's growing in that kind of virtue of, you know, it'll give um, uh, another person your attention, and you have to have that in order to give the, the person, God, um, your attention. So that would be one um, that, that distracted living. More specifically, um, I, I'm finding, um, again, it might not be college students, but it might be even high school students, that um, because, I mean, text messaging is a new reality, and it started in fourth grade and fifth grade, which, um, you know, four or five years ago, eighth graders would get a cell phone for their eighth grade graduation. Now it's middle schoolers. So if they're forming their mind and they quickly are, you know, they, they can't really, um, if they can't be in the present moment, how can they be available to all the graces God wants to give them? How can they be available to, to pay attention in school? How can they ever grow with, with a depth if they have a distracted living? So it just kind of plays out with, um, the many distractions, but text messaging is, is, is coming with, uh, um, if they're going to grow in the spiritual life uh, or in relationships, uh, that has to be something to work on, the virtue of self-control, the virtue of living in the present and practicing the presence of God.